towards Islam, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with hikmah and husna. Now, as far as hikmah, that is wisdom, is concerned, it may change depending upon the situation. It is not thumb rule that this is the best way. Yes, best way is following Quran and Sunnah, but the best way keeps on changing depending upon the situation. For example, if a patient comes to a doctor, he gives a drug depending upon the disease the person has or depending upon his sickness. So the best way of Dawah is to understand your non-Muslim friend and after analyzing, depending in which field of which category he falls, that we have to do. That can only come with experience. That is the best. But that is Hikmah. For some people, Hikmah will be speaking soft. Some people, it may be speaking a bit loudly. Some people, you may speak about science, about history. It keeps on changing. But this is the best way. Doing Dawah is compulsory. Doing the best way is not compulsory. It should be within the purview of the Islamic Sharia. So it may change. For a person who is new in the field, he should at least make a beginning. He should not wait till he becomes an expert. Because the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, Palli Gwani Walo Aya, propagate even if you know one verse. So even if you know one verse of Islam, you at least propagate. So whatever you know about Islam, at least make a beginning. Don't wait till you become like Shaykh Didar and then start doing Dawah. So whatever limited knowledge you have, as long as you know it is correct, you start. At least you know there's one God, say there's one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Start with it. Then inshallah, as time goes on, by the passage of time, by experience, you will learn a lot. And one of the master keys, according to me, which is given in the Quran, is the verse of the Quran from Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64. This I call as the master key for Dawah. It says, Kul, Yahid al-Kitab, say, O oh people of the book, Ta'alaw ila kalmatin sawa in bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as with us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'bda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushrika bihi shayyam. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yattakhi sabaad dun abad dan arbaban minnillah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fain tawallo. If then they turn back. Fakul ushadu. Say ye be witness. Be anna muslimoon. That we are muslims bowing over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is one of the good techniques which Allah recommends that come to common terms as in us and you. So if you know what are the common terms between you and your friend, you can do da'wah in a better way. But this is later on, if you want to start, at least say something about Islam, give him a booklet, give him a video cassette, talk to him, and if you see our cassettes, there are various different ways of doing da'wah. For example, if you want to do da'wah, to a Hindu, you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between Hinduism and Islam. If you want to dawa to a Christian, then you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between Islam and Christianity. If you want to dawa to an atheist, then it's the Quran God's word. Depending at least if you can frame out in which category he falls, you can refer to the video cassette and try and reproduce at least something. Or best is give a book and then you can start talking. And inshallah when you attend more of the talks and hear more of the cassettes, you'll be in a better way and a position to convey the message. We also conduct dawah training programs which train people how to do dawah. And if you go on our website, irf.net, there is a DDP training program, dawah training program, which if you go through it, you may get some knowledge, inshallah. Hope that's the question.